The Westmore's Wolfpack finished last year 10-14, and, and in a three-way tie for fourth in the Northwest Jersey Athletic Conference American Division. For head coach Chris Merrill, entering his second year, this season brings new hope as his lineup can finally be filled and they won't be giving up so many forfeits. He's excited for the team's chances this year. Yeah, uh, team's looking great this year. Um, we got our numbers up a little bit. Uh, we finished last year with like 17 kids, um, healthy at least. Uh, and we're somewhere around 26 this year. Um, so that was our, our number one priority and getting the kids in shape. We started with like some, uh, you know, preseason captain's practices and guys came into the room ready to go and we've been pushing hard from uh, from day one. A wrestler poised for a big year is Michael Campanaro. The senior who finished last year 32-9 and nine, sits 19 wins away for 100 on his career. He's noticed the change in the room is excited for his senior campaign. Uh, yeah, we only lost two seniors last year, so we have a pretty big team this year. We finally have a full lineup most likely. We haven't had that since my freshman year basically. And, uh, I mean, we're working hard, we're getting faster, we're getting stronger, and our conditioning is like no other. In addition to Campanaro, sophomore Brandon Dean and senior Henry Frayne provided at least 30 wins for the squad a year ago. This is a very dangerous West Morris team. The biggest flaw for them the last few years has been the inability to field a full lineup, causing forfeits, which switch dual meet results. With that changed, I'm very excited to see what they can do. I think they're going to finish well above 500, qualify for the state sectional tournament, and finish first in the Northwest Jersey Athletic Conference National Division. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower, reporting.